Now that you've logged into Grow to Serve's website, we'll go ahead and take a look at your profile. So if you come up to the right here, you'll notice my name and this little arrow. And this is where you can view any notifications, preferences, you can edit your profile, view, and there's your dashboard. So let's go ahead and view profile. So you'll notice some tabs right here. We'll go ahead and look at the About Me tab first. You can see a picture of my family. There's a description about me and my family, um, my institution, where I live, and these are all things you can edit. If we go to the Courses tab, you'll notice all of the different courses I've been a part of. View More. And we can go to More, and you'll notice there's miscellaneous reports. These are going to show you all of the activities you have participated in, grades, the last time you logged in, accessed the site, and then we'll go ahead and check out Edit Profile. So this is kind of fun. This is a, a good way to introduce yourself to others. If you notice here, there's a little emoji. I'm just going to make this a bit more personable and do a smile there. If you scroll down, interests. Hmm. Well, I like to hike, I like to read, and I like to drink coffee. So if you have some fun interests, you can add those in as well. You can change your picture here, upload it, and I'll just go ahead and update my profile. And there you can see <laughs> my little emoji and my interests. Now let's go to a course from your profile. Click on Courses, and we'll go ahead and click on this first one, on ramp to cross-cultural life and ministry. Now you'll notice this took me right back to my profile. So what I want to do is come up to the left here and click on on ramp. And there you have it. We're at our course.